very pleasant good morning. Welcome to the morning devotion brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands for Thursday, the 7th day of July, 2022. I am seminarian Howard Bethel from the parish of St. Andrews, located on the beautiful island of Exuma. Let us pray. O oh God, you have taught us to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit, that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart and united to one another with pure affection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew, the 10th chapter, beginning at the 7th verse. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those with a skin disease, cast out demons. You receive without payment, give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belts, no bag for your journey or two tunics or sandals or a staff for laborers deserve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who in it is worthy. Stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave that house or town. Truly I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we are all on a mission from God, and the command is to go. To go out into all the world and proclaim the good news. You see, my brothers and sisters in Christ, the good news of God cannot be spread while sitting in an easy chair or simply drinking water and minding our business. We cannot wait for the world that needs Christ to come to our doorsteps, but we must go. We must go just as Jesus' disciples went out into the world, we ourselves must go. Out into our communities, our country, seeking to make a positive difference in the lives of those in need of Christ's love. We cannot wait sitting idle as we let opportunities where we can serve God pass by, hoping that someone else would take the initiative. This is simply a no to Christ's command. Go means sensitizing our hearts and eyes to those who are hungry for Christ, identifying in the faces of our family members and our co-workers a hunger, a need for his power and grace. Within this context, within this culture that is in need of God's healing and reviving, go means reaching out to those who need to know Christ so that his kingdom will expand. As Christians on our mission, we cannot take the easy route of preaching to the choir, but we must be mindful that this journey, this mission, this calling is not an easy one. As I reflected upon this scripture reading, I could not help but Focus on Jesus' words to his disciples as he says to them, You receive without payment. Give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belt. No bag for your journey or two tunics or sandals or a staff for laborers deserve their food. My brothers and sisters in Christ, what faith you must have to leave for a foreign land traveling by foot with no provisions other than the word of God. Christ's command is to give from what we have received. If every day we make ourselves more aware of the gifts we have been given through Christ's power, we will be better at giving Christ to others. You see, oftentimes we overlook the importance of faith in this passage. The truth is we all need to have faith that reminds us that if we are open to doing the work and will of God, he will supply all of our needs. If we are open to giving of our time, talents, and treasure, He will supply our needs. We are all on a mission from God, and if we have faith that He will provide for us, 
He will equip us with everything we need for the journey ahead. For we go not with our own power, rather we carry Christ's power to heal, save, and conquer evil. The truth is we cannot fulfill our calling, our purpose without faith. The disciples in this passage had to leave everything behind, trusting the word of God to provide for them as they proclaimed the good news. The truth is, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we must grow in faith and trust in God, our provider. As the scripture says, look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are we not more valuable than they are? As we carry out our Christian duties, let us not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow brings its own worries. But let us trust and lean on God, our Father, as he moves in and throughout our lives, making every pathway straight. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us go forth in peace and love to serve the Lord, knowing that through faith he will equip us. He will equip us for our tasks ahead. Amen. Thank you for listening in. And we ask that you please share this message with your family and friends. Have a blessed day. Oh